The News for Jack's I team is now hearing from the leadership of the Clara White Mission as the legendary local nonprofit faces intense scrutiny. Back in August, five of the six executive board members abruptly resigned, expressing dissatisfaction with the CEO, Jacoby Pittman, who was also a city councilwoman. One board member listed 15 concerns with the mission's leadership, most of which centered on Pittman. Among other complaints, Pittman was accused of a lack of transparency when it comes to the mission's finances, as well as policy and procedural concerns. I-team investigator Tarek Miner sat down with Pittman's spokesperson to get answers on the state of the organization. Tarek? Well, this afternoon, the mission honored what would have been the 145th birthday of its founder, Dr. Eartha White, with a flag and wreath ceremony to honor veterans at the Old City Ceremony, a project Pittman had spearheaded for years in Jacksonville. Now, during the event, they made a special announcement, receiving $50,000 from an anonymous donor, plus $21,000 in combined donations from Publix, North Florida Sales, Molina Healthcare, and the Fraternal Order of Police. Recently, I sat down with Pittman's new spokesperson, who says the mission's work must go on and that the board members who left didn't have a strong working relationship with the CEO. It's remarkable, the work that she's done. And I think it's a bit defaming, and I think it's a bit um, libelous, almost, bordering, in many cases, um, to circulate uh, a document. Clara White Mission spokesperson Penny Dickerson is talking about written statements made in the resignation letters of five of the mission's six executive board members who on the way out the door describe concerns with how Jacoby okay, Pittman is leading the nonprofit. Attached to former board chair Michelle Paul's resignation letter was another document listing the concerns about Pittman's leadership, a document originally obtained by the Florida Times Union's Nate Monroe. They include issues like the board's request for over over three years of an automation of accounting and requests for Pittman's credit card statements for over four years, neither of which board members say were ever fulfilled. The credit card statements um, are as available to board members and the Clara White mission is audited at the end of each year. Never has there been any type of report in the auditing that speaks to, um, you know, malfeasance or, you know, um, it, you know, any type of uh, um, infraction you know, where money is concerned. Dickerson says full automation of the Claire White Mission's accounting is a three-phase process that's currently in phase one. Dickerson is also denying that Pittman's spending has garnered any attention from the city of Jacksonville's inspector general or any federal agency like the FBI. Well, the Claire White Mission has not heard from any federal entity about um, any act or non-action of the Clara White Mission or the Board of Directors currently, or personally Jacoby Pittman as president and CEO. Problems within the mission reached a peak during the height of the COVID-19 outbreak when two Clara White employees and Jacoby Pittman became hospitalized with COVID. Beloved Clara White Mission chef Keith Smith also died from COVID-19. The outbreak became an issue mentioned in the resignation letters. Another issue of public scrutiny, this Clara White Mission house that's being used to house homeless veterans and is partially supported by federal funds. According to the property appraiser's office, Pittman currently holds the deed to the residence and the mission pays for monthly rent. Dickerson says ownership of the home is now being transferred to a trust. I believe Ms. Pittman thinks that's the right direction for the um, facility to go in. That way there will not be claims, okay? That way it will not be misunderstood. That way it will not be one more line item that uh, any board member or um, any public resident or any donor will have um, to confuse the two. Now, another claim in this 15-point letter was that mission resources were being used to support Pittman's work on city council. Now, her spokesperson tells us that many of Pittman's staff and volunteers have done work for her, but they volunteered and did it on their own time, and she says they were never pressured to do so. News for Jax reached out to all five of the executive committee board members who resigned in August for further comment on this story, but none of them have returned my calls.